David Barnson with me now. All right, David, good to have you on the show this morning. Do you blame the Fed for this sell-off? Well, no, not at all. I mean, at the end of the day, this has been stuff I've talked to you about for almost a year now, that there was a valuation excess, that things had gotten way ahead of themselves. The Fed is behind the eight ball here. There's no question they've waited too long. And inflation expectations have collapsed. This morning, the tip spreads are at 1.9% over the next five years. The Fed should be cutting. But at the end of the day, you cannot have the big tech, big growth sector. This is largely a NASDAQ collapse at those valuations. And so it has to self-correct. That's behind this. I think it's very ironic that investors have been waiting for the Fed to cut. The Fed now makes clear they're doing it and markets drop it like this. Okay. Address our viewers. What should investors do? It all depends on how they're invested, Stuart. I mean, I think it, the uh, viewers who are largely overdone in big cap tech uh, ought to change the portfolio. I think that that's been in an AI-induced bubble, and it is likely going to have to play out to get to some point of normalcy in valuation. This is not a one- or two-day thing, no matter how much people may hope it is. Um, a b portfolio has to be diversified, and we're in a time politically, policy, everything else else, screaming for good quality, good value. As you know, for us, that comes from dividend growing companies. But investors really need to reset to something less speculative. Talk to me about Intel. The administration, the CHIPS Act, gave them eight and a half billion dollars. They've just announced a 15 percent cut to their workforce, 15,000 jobs. Was that eight and a half billion dollar investment wasted, David? Of course it was. It was absolutely outrageous. It's called corporate welfare. Intel was not the only company that makes billions of dollars to get it. And just so I'm clear, President Biden signed this into law. This is on him. But this was a bipartisan deal. There are a lot of people in the so-called new right that want to pay American companies money to move manufacturing to America. And then they go and demand all kinds of woke DEI requirements. And here they're laying off off 15,000 people. So if we're supporting workers by giving them pink slips, I think a lot of people have a poor understanding of what this giving of money to companies was supposed to do. This is a disaster. Fair enough. David Barnson, thanks for being with us. It's a very important day and we're glad you're with us today. Thank you, David.